G Vakarja, hello my friends, and you are very welcome back to Animal Crossing Wild World episode 54. And you are very welcome back to another evening in home. I'm filming in the, actually, more, it's more late afternoon, honestly. I haven't done a late episode in a while, so I love the sunset. I think it's uh, amazing. I love the colors. Hi, Portia. So in between now and the last episode, I've been collecting fossils as always. I also dug up the turnip too. I completed the turnip task this time. Got it watered every day. So I still have it here. I haven't sold it yet. I was going to save it for my next recording which is now so we'll sell the red turnip today we'll get 16,000 bells I also caught a new bug the rainbow stag I believe it's new if I do have one I don't remember catching it uh, let's talk to Portia while she is here oh geez how'd it get to be 1710 already I was hoping that today we would finally be able to dig up fossils together and what do you want with me you do know you have to dig up fossils as soon as you find them right if you wait until the next day they won't be there I think I'll start calling fossil hunting the mysterious journey my little garden I'm keeping an eye on these are the hybrid flowers that I am keeping watered because they are, you know, hybrid flowers and they were bred completely by accident. So I want to keep them for now. This tree right here, this tree grew. Uh, that was risky shaking it there without a net. Um, the other one I planted did die, unfortunately. So it was a little bit too close to the house. I can't remember actually which tile I planted it in. I'd have to go back and watch the previous episode, but uh, it was around here. It might have been along this, uh, this green path here. So that did not take that tree so I might buy a couple more trees today and plant them trying to build up the trees around my house I want it to look nice and wooded and really pretty and stuff so so judging by the title screen Apollo is still here I actually haven't even posted the last episode yet I'm still working on editing it editing it so I don't know if I have any feedback from you guys about letting Apollo or Gladys move, I'm still kind of deciding with Gladys. It's so hard because she just gave us her photo, so I feel terrible. Apollo, I kind of think I want to let go. Just, uh, you know, I don't think it's to get too stale. This game is so different to New Horizons. Like, usually villagers in New, New Horizons, I feel like it takes a lot for them to leave. It's almost like a pain to kick them out. Whereas in this game, people just leave so easily. So, so I just want to make sure that uh, things don't get too stale and it'd be nice to just see what else is out there. There's such a, an array, is that the word? Such an array of characters in, uh, is this? Oh, it's a fossil. There's such an array of characters in this game and I've only really scratched the surface. So there's so many I've never heard of and never seen before. So it would be nice to kind of do a little bit of rotating to see what else we can get. I'm just kind of fossil scouring here. We're gonna make a bit of money today. Apollo, how's it going? Oh, he's running. He's running. He's running. Flower boy, off on a little evening mischief. Who would have thought you'd be the one I need to keep an eye on? Why have I got to be the one that's always doing the talking? Maybe a visitor from an another town would be a little more chatty. All right, Apollo, is this a... Yep, that's fossil too. Oh, shoot. <laughs> lost the, I don't even know what it was. I'm assuming some type of cicada. I am, by the way, planning on completing the uh, Critterpedia or whatever it's called here, but basically getting all of the bugs and the fish. Um, it's gonna be very tedious. <laughs> So I don't know, some of them I may catch off camera, I'm not sure yet. Okay, there's the pitfall seed. So I'm memorizing where the fossil locations are so that I can just dig them up, go right to them. Elmer, how's it going? Hey, it's already 17 o'clock, it's time to eat supper. I'm drooling just thinking about what's on the menu. I want five of everything. I think maybe I'll start a table tennis club, but more important than actually getting it off the ground is coming up with a really cool secret handshake. Elmer, you're so cute. I also see Pinky. Let's talk to Pinky. Hey, Pinky. Blah, you scared me. Okay, I'm all good now. Phew, I thought you might not come visit me today, but here you are. I'm wondering, what size of house do you prefer? Ooh, big one. Now listen, E-Dog, just big isn't good enough unless you're talking about a heart. Those are always better, bigger. Oh, I just said something so deep. Quick, write that down. So I have another... Oh, is that bug? Oh, no, it looks like I've caught that before, I think. Um, and here's fossil three. So I have another story for you guys. Something that happened off camera, and again, I had to run, grab the screen recording so I could catch it for you, and I did manage to to catch it it was the weirdest thing I had to like look it up because I didn't know like what to do so I had to make sure that I wasn't like gonna miss anything or make sure I did it all right but I was just doing this literally yesterday evening around a similar time yeah it was about 5 p.m I was just walking around here looking for fossils and looking for people to talk to and a 
bird just kind of like floated. A oh, floated is not the right word. It was more like flailed, <laughs> flailed across the sky. It was actually quite hilarious. It was, uh, turns out it was Pete or Petey. I'm not sure if it's Pete or Petey, but I had to look it up online. So I'm gonna like read you what I read just in case any of you have no idea and want to know more. So it was basically like the one of the pelicans, but he delivers mail and he just literally like flailed across the sky, like awkwardly flapping across the sky. And I managed to shoot him down and the sound he made when the slingshot hit him just made me laugh so much. You couldn't hear me laughing because I didn't set, I didn't have the microphone set up so I couldn't set that up in time. But so I literally just wanted to screen grab it so that I could show it to you and put it in this episode. But oh my God, the way he screams when I, I kind of feel bad, but it was quite hilarious. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna read. Oh, I just got bit by a mosquito. Oh my gosh. I was distracted because I pulled my phone up. <laughs> so I'm gonna read you the little like snippet from nookopedia.com. Pete in Wild World. So specifically that section, this is what it says online. So this is what I read before I, uh, you know, made sure because he was just walking around after I shot him down. So I wasn't sure what to do at that point. So this is what it says on nookopedia.com. Pete continues to be the mail carrier in Animal Crossing Wild World, but with a slightly different role. In the game, he cannot be seen delivering the mail, but can be seen flying above the town where he, where he can be shot down with a slingshot at exactly 9 a.m. or 5 p.m. on random weekdays. That lines up perfectly because it was literally five o'clock yesterday and he will not be aware who shot him down. He will not appear during rain. He can be found near the player lying face down. Pete will proceed to get up once talked to. Once he is shot, the player will not be able to move until he falls on the ground. His relationship with Pelly is complicated in comparison to other games. Pelly really likes Pete, but she does not think he likes her in return. In fact, Pete actually has a crush on Pelly's sister Phyllis, who in return hates him. Unlike in the first Animal Crossing, he has a higher pitched voice. So there's an interesting little backstory. I had no idea that that was a thing. I never played the original Animal Crossing games, so I didn't know who Pete was. I didn't know he was the mail carrier. I didn't know he was in a weird little love triangle with Pelly and Phyllis. That's quite hilarious. But here is the footage of me shooting down Pete for your enjoyment. So there's a nice little tidbit for you if you'd never seen that before. I hope you enjoyed that. I thought it was quite funny and you know it's one of those things when something flies across the sky in this game the adrenaline is insane. It's almost stressful because you know you have a limited amount of time to like get something and the clock is running against you so it really is quite stressful. At least I find it quite stressful. There's another mosquito. You get away from me. There's two of them. Oh my gosh. I find it quite stressful so I do feel like an extra level of accomplishment when I actually do shoot the thing down which is very uh not very often since I missed the alien. I'm still sad about that honestly. I don't know if we'll ever get a chance to see the alien again. It's a random time during the week so it literally could be any day at any time and of course I don't play the game like all day every day. I, I, if I could that would be great but I'm not able to do that so yeah so it was quite funny. I just wanted to capture it for you guys. I thought you might enjoy it. So here's the third fossil. So we've got all of our fossils today. So why don't I go and grab some fossils, have them appraised so we can make some bells. It might be very possible to make another 50. Yeah it's very possible. I think I have 
about 50,000 bells, so I can easily make another 15, 50,000, not 15, and maybe pay another 100 off the mortgage. That would be great. I'm thinking about uh, doing that today. I'm trying to think in the meantime, is there anything else I had to update you on? I will have a little think about it. So I've evened up our fossil square. Ooh, what's that bouncing around in the pond? Ooh, I, I might have one of those already. Um, hang on, I'll need to, oh no, I do have, I do have a spot. Oh, I hate that so much. It drives me crazy. I'm going to try and just snatch this thing because I don't know if I have that. Oh, it didn't escape, so that's good. Gotcha. I have a feeling, yes, I think we did catch a pond skater before. I'll try and donate it and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So first of all, I'm going to donate the rainbow stag and then I'll have the fossils appraised. All right, so as you can see, our bell balance is over a hundred thousand. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to make that much. I don't know why. So the rainbow stag and the pond skater, we had both donated. So I must have donated the rainbow stag last year. I don't actually remember. So I must have. I know I could have just checked the little uh, Critterpedia thing, but I'm just too lazy to scroll through it at the minute. So I sold those two things and then we had like a bunch of fossils, maybe six or seven fossils. And then we had the turnip as well. So that has pushed us over a hundred thousand bells. So that's very exciting. Anything here of interest? No, stuff I kind of have already. All right, let's head out. So we're just passing by Pate's house. So I'm going to go in and say hello to her. Peckle, you're still full of energy, aren't you? It gets chilly at night. So I'm I'm not as into going out as I used to be, but when I was younger, hey, oh my gosh, how old am I anyway? Lately, I've been totally into collecting fossils. What, what do you mean? That doesn't seem like my kind of hobby. That's just mean. I'm super smart, you know. Well, anyway, if you find a fossil lying around, just bring it to me, okay? We have plenty of those, Patty. I swear all of these guys are fossil obsessed. Like all of them, it's crazy. Do you want to talk, Pinky? No, okay, I thought she might want to try and give us her photo or something. Not yet. They're all fossil crazy. I don't know, it's maybe because they see me collecting all my fossils and they're all like, I want to collect fossils too. Hey Gladys, how's it going? Good evening, how was your day? Nobody too mean to you? Nobody stick you with any errands to take care of? Because if anyone ever does, you come tell me about it, okay? I'll take care of it for you, E-Dog. You can count on that. So uh, what can I do for you? Don't you think Portia and Nan have a lot in common? It's weird. It weirds me out that they don't seem even remotely interested in each other, but I guess it's better than if they were at when one another's throats. Okay, bye Gladys. I do love Gladys's garden, I have to say. She keeps it really well. That's another positive thing about Gladys. <laughs> so I have nine free slots in my baggage currently. So do I have enough uh, fossils? One, two, three. Oh, it's, we're gonna have three left over. Yes, I wanted to even up the uh, the rectangle. So we're just down to three fossils. So I don't know, I might leave those for next time because I'll just keep collecting them. So. I'll do another batch and yeah, we, we should hopefully get another maybe 30,000-ish. We'll see where we're at, but I kind of want to keep the mortgage payments even. Like I, I quite like bringing it down by 100,000 every time. I do that in New Horizons as well. I don't know why, it's very weird. So fossils are appraised and I've decided to go down to the roost because I haven't been down here in a little while. I gotta say, I need to record another KK episode soon actually, but I have to say I could go for some coffee I think I'm gonna give Aaron some coffee. I did not sleep well last night, so I'm actually already starting to get kind of sleepy. So I think it's the perfect time for a cup of coffee. Yeah, that looked really good. It makes me want coffee now. I could definitely go for some coffee. I just got so sleepy all of a sudden. Oh my gosh, I did not sleep well last night and it's starting to hit me now. I can't believe I've already lasted until 5.30 though, honestly. So, all right, let's go sell the fossils. Another 30,000 bells. So now at 140, almost 141. I'm going to buy these two trees right here and plant them around our house. We'll try again and see. I'm just gonna keep planting until the ones that stick, stick, you know? I would love to just uh, surround our house in trees. So let's go plant these and yeah, hopefully they take. I do actually take notes from episodes. So I usually have my little uh, notes 
nearby when I'm filming just to like sometimes something will happen and I will forget because I have a brain like a sieve and I have so much going on in my brain all the time that I probably will not remember everything that happens uh, in the game so I usually like make notes um, so some of the things that I have in my notes right now it usually comes from like if something happens in an episode or if someone leaves a comment that's kind of like oh I didn't think of that or oh I want to look more into that I'll usually like make a note of whatever the specific thing is. A couple of things that I have in my notes right now are doing another purge of the wardrobe which I might not do on camera or on video I don't know yet. What if I put one like there? I'm gonna try and put a tree here. We'll go with the regular sapling and just see. I wonder if if it was just like a dead tile where we planted the other tree or I thought maybe if it's possible it could be like a little bit too south although this like this is a cedar sapling or this is a cedar tree so this must be like I don't know I thought maybe it wasn't north enough but there is one right there I'm not sure which is which but I kind of want to try a different place so maybe I don't know maybe like oh there's another mosquito see they're all just so too close to the other trees that's why it's so tricky so this little guy's literally following me I could try it like there although is that where I planted it before or I think I planted it like where did I plant it oh we got bit again I'm gonna say stung but we got bit again now, I think I planted it in like somewhere around the middle the middle hole circle hole off the top of my head right now I do not remember so we'll take a chance and I'm gonna put it in this one and look we'll just see what happens yeah I think that's like one tile up to where we planted it last time look We'll give it a try. I feel like it's going to be a lot of trial and error with these tree planting because we just don't know what's good and what isn't and what's going to work and what isn't. But look, we're only out 60 bells, so we'll just keep trying. I'm just going to keep trying and we'll see what sticks. And I will try and like make mental notes of which tiles are definitely not going to work. So once I edit the previous episode, I think I'll have a... A fair idea and I'll try and keep it in mind. So what was I saying before that? Oh yeah, to-do lists. So another purge of the wardrobe. I want to get all this stuff inside. I want to get this stuff out. What is this again? Oh, the writing chair. That's right. I think I bought that. So while I water these flowers, um, also a summer goal of mine would be to catch a shark. I literally have catching a shark, summer goal. I don't know how likely that that is. I want to catch all the fish. I want to complete the, uh, like we completed the museum. So we'll see. Um, flower garden. Oh yes, uh, I need to start filming episodes on Fridays because I've realized that I do actually need to join Red's Furniture so that we can start buying the paintings and checking to see what's real and what isn't so that we can actually we can actually start to fill the museum with the paintings too. So I think Red comes to home on Fridays. So I have to keep that in mind for filming on Fridays going forward. Custom wall pattern I also have down. Custom wall pattern question mark. I still need to look into that. And also we have... KK Soulful and KK Blues on the list for KK. So if you do have any KK requests, make sure you put them in the comments and I will add them to my notes. I think that's it. So, oh, Porsche wants to say hello again. Hey, E Dog, do you have any interest in my birch flooring? How about it for. Mm, birch flooring? I just don't know what that is. I kind of want to just to see what it is. Thanks, I've been wanting to get rid of my tacky. Oh, it's tacky. Oh, great. Okay, maybe we just made a big mistake. Gosh, the mosquitoes are so drawn to me. Look, there's one flying around me right now. Um, thanks, I've been wanting to get rid of uh, Teehee, what a day, what a day, what a day. Okay, we'll take a look at that birch flooring, but oh my gosh, third time! Gosh, if mosquitoes were fossils, my goodness me. Okay, so Tank and Nan are the only ones we have left to talk to today. So we'll talk to Tank and Nan right now. Oh no, Tank. I don't want Tank to leave. I mean, maybe one day, <laughs> but not right now. Oh, good evening to you. How's life, little E? Man, I skinned my elbow and I've been picking at the scab all dang day. Ew. Once I started, I just couldn't stop. What's wrong with me? A TMI tank. <laughs> Listen up, Lily. I gotta take my training to the next level. And to do it, I gotta move to another town. Good old home's been fun for me, but this is how it's gotta be. I wanna keep Tank around a little while longer. He's definitely one of the ones that, like, I really like. And maybe at some point we'll let him go. But I just am not ready to let him go yet. So I'm gonna try and convince him to stay. My brain's all bamboozled. Maybe I should rethink the whole thing. Yes, you do some rethinking, Tank. I almost said, uh, instead of Tank and Nan, I almost said Tank. Tan and Nank. 
Hey kid, why are you out so late? Why aren't you in bed? I should go to sleep, but I've got too much on my mind. E-Dog, has anyone told you about the Happy Room Academy? Oh yes, we are familiar. Really, that's great. All right, let me give you a few tips. You know how you feel good just being in a room that has a real unity of color? Well, that's what the HRA looks for. So collect items that are the same color. I guarantee that you'll like the results as much as the Happy Room Academy does. Okay, interesting tip actually. I never thought about color. Um, so yeah, okay. Thanks, Nan. The sky is turning a lovely purpley pinkish tinge. I love it. Uh, it's definitely changed from when we started recording the episode. It was more of a pale blue orange and now it is slowly turning to evening, which I absolutely love. So let's take a quick look at this birch flooring. Ooh, you know what? I don't hate it. The only thing is I'm just not sure where to put it, <laughs> but I don't hate it. Mm, maybe I'll kind of hang on for a little while. This is my problem, I know that, but I don't hate that and it might work. It might work for something. So I just popped it in the kitchen for now. This wardrobe purge I will probably do off camera. I don't know if I'll do it in between the next episode, but it's kind of in the back of my mind that I just want to clear out a bunch of stuff, stuff that I know I'm not going to use, even if it's stuff that I kind of like or kind of want. Hey, E-Dog, I have this totally cute secret item to sell you. Do you have money? Um, I am actually loaded. Oh, awesome. You'd be like a, vi a big venture capitalist. Well, in that case, I'm going to sell you my modern wall. I'll only charge you. Mm, I mean, it's a lower price, but no thanks. What? You're like way too stingy. You'll be kicking yourself when this baby doubles in price. I'm not stingy, Pinky. Honestly, I just, I don't need a modern wall. It's as simple as that. Okay, I think it is mortgage time. All of that money that I was just claiming to have, I'm giving it all to Tom Nook. Story of our lives in this game. I think I'll pay another 100,000 off. There we go, 100,000. Yes, the remaining bell balance is 500,000. Is there anything else? Oh no. Another thing I never do is come to this window and donate to Boondocks. I may have done it once or twice, uh, which one is it? It's uh, donations. There we go. So you would like to make a donation to the town of Boondocks. Is that correct? And exactly how much would you care to donate? What if, if I donate? Uh, I do remember I have donated to them maybe once before a long, long time ago. We'll go with a thousand for now. So that's 1000 on the nose. Thank you very much. Thanks to your gift. The Boondocksians will, in, will enjoy a feast with their loved ones. Though I heard the main course is dirty rice. I, old habits die hard, I suppose. Boondocks is not essential to this game. It's kind of just another thing you can do but it, it's really just giving your money away. <laughs> that's all it is, really. It's literally just like a town that's kind of, I don't know if it's nearby or not, but it's a town that's like basically very poor. Your donations are accumulated and they, once you hit certain thresholds, like they send you items like feathers and things, as far as I know. Um, so it's kind of like your donations are what eventually makes the town like not poor, but we never get to see Boondocks. We don't really know anything about it other than that. So it's kind of just an optional thing. At least I've always treated it as an optional thing. It's kind of tricky to just send your money away and never see it again to a town you never get to visit or really do anything about. It's really just to get like little items. Um, so yeah, in case anyone didn't know what Boondocks is, <laughs> that's the very limited information I have on Boondocks. But yeah, I don't think I have anything left that I want to do today. So we're kind of approaching our time now so I might just leave it at that if you guys have any like suggestions or thoughts on all the things I talked about in, in today's episode or any episode really um from the past or lately or a while ago that things you would like me to do or things that you think I should consider looking at or whatever whatever you think I just would love to uh see what you guys think at the end of the day I'm gonna make the final decision on what I want to do with uh, with my playthrough, but I like to get feedback and I like to see, um, you know, what people are thinking and your favorite parts and your maybe your not so favorite parts or I don't know, just be kind, please. I just like to come on here and relax and enjoy Wild World and just play it at my own pace pretty much. So yeah, I'm actually quite tired the lack of sleep last night is really catching up to me at the minute. So I think I'm going to go and have a little lie down and keep editing episode 53 because I am editing episode 53 right now. And also thank you for all the belated birthday wishes on the previous episode to that, which was 52. I got so many happy birthdays, even though it was like a week after my birthday, but still thank you so much. You were all so very sweet and kind and I had a great birthday. So thank you. All right, I'm going to wrap up the episode 
episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in the next one. Slongafol, goodbye.